What's up, everyone? All right, so today's video is going to be about something I like to call sandbox reports. Um, and basically, it's making use of object prompts to give users the ability to create their own reports. Um, I actually think this is actually an underutilized feature in MicroStrategy, from my experience, um, but a valuable one because what it does is it gives users the ability to create their own reports, especially simple reports. So that can often cut down on um, a lot of data requests that you might be getting from users, especially simple data requests. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, now, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to basically do this with object prompts, okay? So let's go ahead and create some object prompts here. Now, object prompts are... Basically, this will allow the users to choose from objects that already ex pre-exist in our environment. Um, so the first one we're going to do is we'll create an attribute prompt, an attribute object prompt. So go right here and we'll click Add. And let's just choose a few attributes from the geography hierarchy. So say region, we will choose country, and we'll choose call center. Click OK, click Next. And we'll give it a title here, choose location attributes. And we'll go ahead and click finish. We'll name it, choose location attributes. And now let's create another prompt, another object prompt that allows users to choose their, from a list of metrics. So we'll click new prompt. We'll come down again. We'll choose object prompt. And let's choose our metrics. So we'll click add. Browse to our metrics folder. So we'll just choose some sales metrics here. So we'll choose profit. We'll choose revenue. And we'll choose units sold. Okay, so now click OK. We'll click next. And we'll make this required. We'll give it a title saying choose metrics. Click next. You can even give it a default answer if you wanted to. So we could say default it to revenue if that was a common metric that, that users were choosing that anything made sense. Um, but again, a lot of this part's pretty self-explanatory. So we'll click finish. Give it a name. Oop. Choose metrics. Now, what we're also going to do is let's create a couple of filters here because they're basically three components of almost every, at least three components of almost every report, right? You choose your attributes, you choose your metrics, and you have your filtering. Okay, so let's create a couple of filters here. Uh, we'll just keep it simple for, the, for uh, the demonstration. So we will do a simple filter. Uh, we'll do it from time. So we'll say month. We'll make this a prompted filter so that the users will get, I'll just click finish. So now the users will get prompted on to choose from a list of months. So this will be uh, our choose month. Click save. Let's create another one so we have some variety. Um, and we'll just make another one on year. Give the users the ability to choose their year. Time, year. Prompt, finish, okay, save and close, so we'll call this choose year. Now, now we created our two filters, okay, choose year and choose month, so we want the users to have the ability to do that in this sandbox report that we're going to create. Now we need an object prompt so the users can choose from one of these two filters that we just created. So again, we'll click new, prompt. We'll choose object prompt and we'll add those two filters we just created. Month, year. Click next. And we'll make this required, right? You you want the users to, like I said, minimum things reports usually have is at least attributes, metrics, and at least some filtering. So we'll make this required. Oh, let's give it a title. Say choose time filter. Click next, click finish. So choose time filter. 
Okay, so now we have our objects here. So now let's go ahead and add this to a report and basically actually create our sandbox report. Let's go through that process here. New, click report. Okay. Now, this is going to be a little different than a standard report, meaning we're not going to add our attributes directly or our metrics directly. What we're going to do is we're actually going to add our object prompts to the report template. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll browse to our object prompts, and we will go ahead and add this, um, our choose attributes. We'll add this to our, um, oops, Let me see, let's try that again. There we go. Just double click it. And then we will drag our metrics prompt over to our report template. And now we'll choose, we'll grab our time filter prompt and add that to our filter. Okay. And then let's uh, save this as sandbox report. Okay. Now let's go ahead and run that and see what this looks like. Click run. Now, as you can see, the user is getting prompted to choose their attributes that they would like to appear on the report. So this, so you can kind of see where this is going already, right? It's, it's giving the user the ability to create reports, their own reports dynamically, right? So let's just choose region. And we'll choose revenue from our list that we created. And we'll choose year. And we'll click next. And we'll click finish. And now, because that was a prompted time filter, we'll get prompted for the year. So we'll choose 2016. Click finish. And there you go. So now what we've done is, through the use of object prompts, we have dynamically created a report. Now we can rerun this, and instead of region, we can choose country, let's say. And we can add uh, units sold and profit. Right? And we'll leave our, our time filter the same. Click Finish. And we'll keep it at 2016. And then now you have your, your revenue, units sold, and profit by country. So, so now you can kind of see how this could be useful for users. But the other benefit to this um, is, that it can, is that by creating reports like this, and, and from my experience, I think this is an underutilized feature in MicroStrategy. Now, again, that's just from what I've noticed and from my personal experience. Um, but I think this can actually cut down on some of the more simple requests that you might be getting uh, from users, right? And this kind of gives them the ability to create their own reports, um, which I think is a pretty powerful feature. And, and again, uh, from my experience, I think it is underutilized. Um, so let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. All right, so that'll do it. This is a new channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. And thanks for watching.